chapter 5, lesson 2, is now about areas of a circle. So again, recalling from lesson number 1, this is your radius. Okay, so for the area of a circle, that's what's inside the figure. So the area formula is pi r times r, which is also written as pi r squared. Okay, now, if the kids are allowed to use a calculator, then they can use the squared button. But if they're not allowed to use a calculator, then it's better to do the pi, and then times the r, and then times the r. Okay, now, from the last lesson, we know that pi can be 3.14, or pi can be 22 over 7. So again, most likely, if the kids are allowed to use a calculator, it'll say use 3.14. Okay, if it says to compute manually, then that means most likely they'll say 22 over 7. Okay, now there is a pi button in the calculator, but I would refrain from using it if they tell you to use 3.14. The logic is, Pi does not end with 4. Pi has more numbers. So when you use the full value, the answers will be different. Okay, so again, when they get to higher levels, then they can use the pi button. But for now, refrain if it says use 3.14. Okay, so which means our problems will come from page 150. Okay, so starting with 1A and 1B. Okay, so in this problem, it says find the area of the circle with a given radius. So this is your radius. Okay, so again, ideal to write down the given. So radius is 11 centimeters. Okay, then it wants the area. So if it wants the area, it's pi times r times r. Or area is pi r squared. Okay, now this problem, you can use the calculator. So which means this is the ideal thing to use. There's a square button in the calculator. So I shall show how that works after I discuss all the lessons. Okay, so which means if I plug it into here for now, um, it says that the radius is 11 centimeters. So that means our area is 3 0.14 times 11 squared. Okay, so when we do that and we put it in our calculator and it doesn't say correct to any decimal place, that means we need the full value. The full value being 379.94. Now, the unit of measurement since its area is centimeters squared. Okay, moving to 1B, this time around, it doesn't want us to use the calc -U. So this is, they say here, pi is 3.14. Okay, in 1B, it says find the area with the given diameter. And this time, they give the diameter. Okay, so which means if the diameter is given, and they say use pi to be 22 over 7, and we're supposed to find the area, Writing down the given, diameter is equal to 14 centimeters. Okay, now the thing that we have to remember, since our formula only involves radius, what we want to do is say radius is 7 centimeters. Okay, so which means if we want area is equal to pi times r times r. Since it's mental computation, then that means it's better to write out the r times r rather than the square because you have to process the multiplication. So this is 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1. Okay, so again, whole numbers can be expressed as a fraction. And we want to because we want the numerator to cancel with the denominator. 
which means that and that cancels, one and one. So our answer should be 154. And again, since this is area, centimeters squared. As mentioned earlier, I will show how to use the calculator for the square part. So we have on that thing, 3.14 times 11, and then there's the squared button. So we press that squared. And then when we press equal, we should get 379.94. It's a fraction, so we press the SD button which is 379.94. Continuing on to page 151, problem number three says, a quarter circle is cut out from a square with sides six centimeters. So you have a square. This is six centimeters and this is six centimeters. So here's your quarter circle. So again, from Previous learnings, a quarter means one-fourth. Okay, so then it says, um, find the area in terms of pi. So since they didn't give a value of 3.14, nor did they give a value of 22 over 7, they want us to keep our answers in terms of pi. So which means the area, I'm going to write down the given, the radius is 6 centimeters. So you see, this is the radius because the circle continues on like that. So if you visualize, that would have been the radius. That would have been the radius. Okay, and it wants us to look for the area, but only of a quarter circle. So which means when we write down the formula, it's one-fourth times pi times r times r. Okay, so again, since this is not a compute, a cal uh, calculator problem okay this means that we want to write it as this not r squared okay so here we take one fourth we keep the pi the radius is six and another six so if we multiply or if we cancel it should give us the same answer so this is 36 divided by 4 is 9 pi Okay, but if I wanted to cancel, this is over 1, this is over 1, this cancels as a 3, and then we have a 2, and then we cancel again, that's a 1, and we have a 3, which gives us 9 pi. So again, if we're looking for areas, we have to use the formula that's given as either pi times r times r, if it's computational, or pi r squared if it's using the calculator. And um, we need to make sure that to make it easier for the kids, we always want to write down the givens and whatever is usually asked for. That concludes lesson two of chapter five. See you in the next lesson.